Hey YouTube, hey y'all know I'm a big Brunswick Stew fan. I really love Old Hickory House Brunswick Stew out of Atlanta, Georgia. I found this, however, recently when I was at the legendary food outlet in Noonan, Georgia. It's the Walker's Homestyle Brunswick Stew. Let's see what this tastes like. It's from Carrollton. I've read some reviews that say it's amazing. We're about to find out. All right, so we've got this heating up on the stovetop now. I did about half of it. It comes frozen, but I thawed it out. It says heat and serve Walker's Homestyle Brunswick Stew. Keep refrigerated. Packed for Walker Meats, Incorporated, Carrollton, Georgia. I tell you, you know, there's something missing on this container that should be on there. And, and that is there is no potatoes and no lima beans in this Brunswick stew. Now I'll tell you, I love potatoes and I love lima beans, but I do not love it in my Brunswick stew. And I grew up eating Old Hickory House's Brunswick stew in Atlanta, Georgia. They do not have lima beans. They do not have potatoes. And whenever you're looking for recipes, clone recipes, which you never really can find for Old Hickory House, the clone recipes that do pop up will usually have lima beans or bruns lima beans or potatoes in it they'll be like hey this is the recipe but i've been to old hickory house they do not use lima beans they do not use potatoes and i'm happy to report that walkers does not use lima beans and they do not use potatoes so i'm pretty excited about this obviously if you're in some part of the state where you're like oh you gotta have lima beans and you gotta have potatoes well then you can add them so anyway it looks good it smells great i'm really excited about this and who knows i might even be able to use these ingredients on the side panel to possibly reverse engineer my own brunswick stew recipe anyway that's it um I'm going to taste it here in a moment, show it to you in greater detail, and we'll take a peek at it. Alright, so we've heated this up, this Brunswick stew, and it's, it's delightful. I'm impressed. Look at that. No potatoes, no lima beans. That's got a really good taste. This is fantastic. There is a UPC number on it, 0285772010102. Yummy. So I decided to heat up the rest of this. Um, I've cleaned it out. I'm gonna save the container and see if I can um, assemble some of these ingredients and make a Brunswick stew that tastes like this. My first bowl, I mean, once again, fantastic. There were nice plump pieces of pork in it and there's beef in there too. And the taste is great. As my mother would say, it has a hefty flavor. What I like about it is the first ingredients are corn, tomatoes, beef, pork, and then it says uh, broth, beef, pork, chicken broth. It says tomato ketchup. One thing we know about Old Hickory House is they use red gold ketchup. So for someone trying to make a Hickory House clone, using red gold would certainly seem the way to go. I don't know if red gold makes a 33% or not, but um, be something to consider, but I mean, this is delightful. I'm gonna finish off this whole thing by myself here at lunch. It's 24 ounces. I'm really pleased with this product. I'd like to know what other kind of products Walker's makes. All right, so this is my second bowl of the Walkers purchased from Food Outlet in Noonan. It's the only place I've ever seen it. That's why I've mentioned now a couple of times this Food Outlet place. It, amazing how much of the commercial food service products they sell there. And uh, But there have been big chunks of 
pork in this. I mean, you can tell it's chunky. Look at that. Mm. I made this one a little bit too hot, but big chunks of pork. You can tell it's high in solids. It's not like it's a soup, it's a stew. I believe this 24 ounces cost me something like, I think it was $5.95 maybe. It was in the frozen case. Very pleased with this. Let's see, just looking at some of the nutrition facts, it says one cup is 120 calories. So that's pretty low in Weight Watchers points and it says there's three of these servings, so it would be 24 ounces. I like that. I don't know if y'all can read that or not, but anyway, thanks for watching. Run on down to Noonan. Go to Food Outlet, get this in the freezer case. Go check out their commercial food service. It is unbelievable. You can buy those things without having to pay for a membership or be a commercial business. It's unbelievable. Anyway, make it a great day. Thanks for watching.